What is up everyone, it's Mr. Fantastic here and today we're going to be comparing the upcoming iPhone 13 to the last year's iPhone 12 and see if it's worth an upgrade or not. Now in this year's iPhone there will be small improvements, not too much, it's kind of like an S model, in fact it was going to be called the iPhone 12S but it won't be called that anymore because it made the naming scheme so much complicated and I think that Apple is past the S naming scheme which is definitely a great thing. Now, the specs I'm gonna tell in this video are 80 to 85% accurate on the iPhone 13. Maybe a thing or two might not end up happening since Apple likes to cancel a thing or two at the last second, like they did last year with the 120Hz refresh rate. So just keep that in mind. First things first, let's talk about the build quality. Both the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 12 are of the same size. We have glass on both the front and the back with the ceramic shield and an aluminum frame in between, which is also flat on both phones and they both have MagSafe too. But the iPhone 13 will be 0.26 millimeters thicker. I assume that is because of the slightly larger battery but I think that last year's cases will still fit it. However, the difference we can see on the back is that the camera orientation is changed on the iPhone 13 and the cameras are now arranged diagonally. It definitely looks super strange and quite different than the iPhone 12. Though the cameras on both are pretty much the same. Both have a 12 megapixel main and a 12 megapixel or wide camera. But we will have a new ported mode which blurs the background in the videos on the iPhone 13. The significant upgrades in the camera department are only on the iPhone 13 Pro models where we can see much bigger and thicker cameras. Let me know in the comment section below if you want a comparison between the iPhone 13 Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro. As for the displays, here we can see some pretty significant upgrades as compared to last year. First of all, we finally have a smaller notch as compared to the iPhone 12. It is almost 25% smaller, which is definitely a noticeable change. It will still have Face ID and there's also a 12 megapixel front camera. The size is still the same, it is a 6.1 inch OLED display on both the iPhone 13 and iPhone 12. However, we will finally see a 120Hz variable refresh rate on the iPhone 13 which is a massive deal you can expect it to make the display two times smoother than the iPhone 12 and it gives a great edge while gaming and it overall makes the scrolling experience smoother and better and we will also finally see the always on display on the iPhone 13 something we've wanted for so long and it might also be pushed to the older iPhones via a software update it will be interesting to see how Apple implements it. Talking about the specs, we have 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of face storage on both phones. We have an A15 Bionic chip versus the A14 Bionic chip on the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 12 respectively. It won't be a significant upgrade, it will just be a tad bit faster and we will still see 5G on the iPhone 13. Talking about the batteries, we have a 3095 mAh battery on the iPhone 13 which is 280 mAh more than the 2815 mAh battery on the iPhone 12 and this battery upgrade is given to compensate for the 120Hz refresh rate which drains a lot of battery on the iPhone 13. Both will have 20 watt of fast charging but still no charger out of the box, just a lightning to USB-C cable. As for the pricing, it will still likely cost around $800 like the iPhone 12, maybe a tad bit more since TSMC who manufactures the processors have increased the prices so expect maybe $829 or even an $849 price tag. The iPhone 13 will be launched on September 14, 2021, which is in a few days, and the Apple event invites for it are already out. So in the end, I would say that if you're using the iPhone 11, then you should probably upgrade from it. But if you're using the iPhone 12, then you don't really need to upgrade. It's pretty much the same, though I would advise you to wait till next year when we will definitely see some big changes. If you don't already know, John Prosser from the front page tag recently leaked the iPhone 14's design. I'll link his video down in the description. Let me know if you want to see a video on it too. I also made a video on the iPhone 13, which will be the last mini iPhone. If you haven't already seen, then go check it out. I'll link it in the description down below and here in the iCard. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about it. Thanks for watching, drop a like on this video and if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with that bell icon. I bring regular videos just like this one. I'll see you guys next time and up until then, 
be fantastic. <laughs>